Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Upper right in corner, we got Bonneth starting as the yellow Protoss. Upper left in corner, we got Dewalt starting as the pink Protoss. This is, of course, on Fighting Spirit Mania, game two of Fighting Spirit Mania. Um, I'm trying out a new recording setting, and hopefully it uh, will do a good job. We'll have to see. I'm going to maybe tweak it between this game and the next game, but if you see a little... Let me know how the quality is to you guys out on YouTube land, although these comments are going to come out quite late. Uh, I'll try to keep an eye on it myself to see how it goes, but I, I think I can improve the quality out to YouTube and also out to Twitch simultaneously a little bit. That's kind of the effort right this second. Anyway, game one, a wild one. Game two, it, so game one in Bonus' favor. That means he only needs to win three more games theoretically because it, this is it uh, as far as the end of this first set. Um, if he can just close out another three games, he will be the champion and that'll be it. And we can all uh, agree that in this point in time, <laughs> DeWalt was defeated by Bonneth and was the, the champion of Fighting Spirit on this map in particular. However, if DeWalt finds a way to come back and win four of these games, then we're going to the ultimate grand final, the upper bracket final, and we'll have to start this, <laughs> we'll start this all over again. And I don't know how the viewers will feel about that. I know how I as a commentator will feel about that for certain though. Uh, I will still tough it out. We. I feel like these guys, they played so many games to get this stage, I might as well put in the extra little bit of effort myself. Anyway, it looks like we are going to see a gas opener. Gateway into gas on both ends. A little bit of an early gas for Bonneth for some reason. This is like a good couple seconds earlier. I'm not sure what the full cause of that was. Maybe because it was slightly... No, Gateway's a little bit earlier too. I'm wondering if that's mineral boosting something along those lines. So bodes well. It's kind of challenging in the early stages of this... Um, of matches like this to get full commentary I'd be like, ah yes, this is the relevant thing <laughs> overall. Anyway, I will do it. It's my job to keep you interested though. Cybernetic score warping in. Looks like it is going to be a cross map scout there from DeWalt. Bonneth going to get first scout now and he's also critically going to get that first scout underneath that first zealot which means DeWalt on the turnaround isn't going to get additional information and that first zealot's going to have to spend some time chasing down uh, that probe in and around the base. We do have a pylon dropped and we have that cybernetic score alongside that would have prevented uh, some sort of micro along that corner. So Zealot produced, Bonneth makes his way up, he gets the Eiffel and this is a significant advantage going in to game two. And it's very, it's it's not just a significant advantage, it's kind of a rare advantage in TVP on Fighting Spirit Mania. Dragoon queued up, another probe making its way out already actually for Bonneth. Never mind, it's going to cycle back. I'm kind of curious what this probe's up to. Uh, because it's a little bit odd to see, so, and this probe making its way forward. Zelt's still chasing things down. I'm wondering if that was just a misrally or what that was. So it's going to be one gate robo looking at the tech here. Maybe, I, I kind of like, and this is, oh, this is clever. So he's skipping range, going into robo, and just going to try to rely on, I, I presume this is going to be really, really fast reaver drop, potentially for Bonneth. He's managed to chase that worker out. But also recognizing that he's certainly going to end up with the tech advantage in that regard. It could be that he wants to go... It's possible that this turns into DT drop. But I think much, much more likely it's going to be uh, Quick Reaver. And we'll see if Bonneth can close the game. I wonder if he's looking at this and he's like, I gotta pull out all the stops to make this happen now. Range, queuing up for him. So it's gonna be a little bit... So basically what this means is his range is gonna be a little bit later. I don't know that DeWalt's going to have the wherewithal. I'm actually curious how many Protoss players intentionally move their Dragoons up within particular timings to check whether range is finished or not. I do feel like that is uh, that could be a powerful aspect of this matchup to be able to find that piece of information. But it's kind of one of those things. I don't know what those timings are. But I could see DeWalt potentially knowing what those timings are and even sacrificing uh, a Dragoon and a couple shots. That's the secondary problem is like, do you want to sacrifice a couple shots? In the meantime, one gate into Nexus for DeWalt. So this is going to be a very tough defense. So, and a second gate was dropped from Bonneth behind this, which means, and it looks like it is going to be support bay first. Uh, so just straight up assault mode now for Bonneth. And he's going into about as good, well, about as good a situation as you can hope for. So DeWalt going for the Nexus, which means this troop count's going to be quite a bit lower, but he's going to go for the triple gate as far as a follow-up. I don't know that he's going to cut any probe production in the space of this though. And as a result, once that Reaver comes out, it's not going to be facing a large amount of Dragoons. However, if Bond doesn't get a move on, and the thing is, is he's certainly going to get a move on. I can't imagine this is like early Robo just to go for, um, ooh, actually just getting the edge of those Dragoons. Dragoons not able to 
pick anything up. But here's the thing is DeWalt sees that. And with the information gleaned, he might think, okay, yeah, this is just one gate into expansion opposite side. Potential mirror build. We know better though. Observatory dropping behind that, by the way. But yeah, this is a, it's also possible we, we could see fast speed. Um, and there is a problem where Bonneth uh, is really going to have to rely on those reaver shots because there are going to be a good number of Dragoons out fairly rapidly and a stronger economy for DeWalt on the follow-up. So he needs to make sure he gets good damage done with kind of this initial series before that three gates of production kicks in. He's moving out right this second. Did he kill a probe on the way across? I think he might have killed a probe. Did I miss that? Yeah, killed the probe. DeWalt potentially on alert. I don't know if he recognizes the scenario, but right now it's going to be five Dragoons. Sorry, six Dragoons and a Zealot versus five Dragoons, a Zealot, and a Reaver. And that Reaver is all the difference. Bonf needs to make sure it gets into the fight. Reaver drops. DeWalt sees it now. Pressing up. Gets a good spread of shot. Took that Reaver out really rapidly. And I don't know that it got a decent spread shot. And the micro afterwards from DeWalt. Insane. GG from Bonneth. Oof. Actually, so... I'm going to say this is just me bad commentating. Maybe this is just a... F the wall made that look like a flat counter build. Just like straight up counter. And maybe that is the case. But I'm pretty sure what it comes down to is this more just... Uh, I, I think it's a micro situation. Making sure... I think DeWalt just might be just that good, though, is what it comes down to. So here's the thing. Yeah, he's got to engage. We're going to look at this again. So we got six Dragoons, a seventh trailing, one Zealot, five Dragoons, a Zealot, but you've got that Reaver in between. We're going to slow it back down and put it down to a little bit of a slower speed. And this is the important bit is, is yeah, having that Reaver initially in. So he gets one spread shot here. Is that what it was? Yeah, so he's able to get one hit. And those are the Dragoons that need to get targeted. And it looks like there was already a Flurry of Fire on that Reaver. I'm wondering if... Actually, I feel like this is just a counter build. Because Bonnet's just not having enough ground troops to cover that Reaver. I mean, there is a way to micro out of that. But GG right there. Anyway. Either way, DeWalt executed that fantastically. I gotta say. Absolutely fantastic execution. I'm not of the caliber of Protoss to be like, oh yeah, that was a flat out... I, I think that was just good execution. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.